going real well overall. The old hero is a real dangerous boss that's... I remember him being real spooky, so I'm glad we, we got him there. And on first try, too, he didn't kill us, so... It was all just good news. Um... Woo! What's up? Yep, give me power. I need lots more decks. Actually, let's just cap that out at 30, like that, and then we'll get you to 14. There, there. now we just need 10, 15 levels, and we'll be where I want to be. 15 levels, and we're there, guys. Thank you. Um... Do I think I want to bring this, this. not that um, and this maybe you have a heart of gold. Thank you, Thomas. Smithing grounds. There is some other White Souls tendency stuff in this area, but I'm not super concerned. I would be kind of surprised if I got invaded, but you know, crazier things have happened. I have white soul tendency here, right? It's not showing it properly in the top left. What be your need? If it be a blacksmith. Can I do anything with these weapons? No, no. 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 And no. Okay. Well, I can't do anything, so... Hey, I'm just checking, man. I gotta check thing. Back to the Nexus we go, then. All right. We're at 3,000 some souls. Well, we've long been. You have new items now, buddy? That you try to murder me? Yeah, you want $60,000 for a fragrant ring when we got ours for free by turning in uh our um Little hour, uh, not hourglass, the um, brass telescope instead. So don't spend 60,000 souls, guys. Don't do it. We're gonna buy healing items with the rest of it because I was running alone half moon grass. Come again, then. I'll be awaiting. Will ya? All right, well, I think. What should we do? We have 200 souls. Well, first, first things first. Time to die, guys. Time to die. Yeah, like, what's our... We have... We also have pure white tendency in Archstone of the Shadow Men. So, we are gonna do some things there that pertain to white... Um... To white tendency. So... Let's just fall down this hole here. Ow. Just 200 souls, I don't give a shit. <laughs> All right. So now that we have white soul tendency, we should have something going on here, I think. Yeah, there's that dude now standing there. Now what? I'm busy, man. Hold on. He's a proposal for me. Do I have much to gain, sir? I am Satsuki. I seek a Satsuki. of my father. Have you seen the sword inscribed, Makoto? 
No. I will I offer you demon souls if you can help me find it. Hmm. So I need to find a. Oh, chooses his master, but be warned. Makoto is no sword for the faint of heart. Is it not? The Makoto chooses, but be warned. It chooses its master, does it? Hmm, interesting. Well, now we have that quest line going. We can go here. The ritual path, yes. All done with it in terms of the boss, thank god. Quickly run by you, what's up man? Hope things are going good. We're gonna do one, and two. And he's dead. Nice. And we're gonna come down here. Grab this. And then... Ah, uh, yeah. Try rolling. <laughs> rolling does not work. Just so everyone knows. But if you guys remember, there was an item on top of this rock that is now slid down. It is now approachable for myself. And it is the Magic Sword Makoto. Um, let's look at the weapons, actually, because we haven't read about them. So, Meat Cleaver. Giant Cleaver, sword from the soul of the Agitator Demon, identical to the Agitator's own weapon. It turns sinners into delectable cuts of meat. It also drains small amounts of HP from targets. Um, that's kind of nice. And then, kind of funny, the flip side of it is the magic sword Makoto, a cursed katana that has appeared in folklore through the ages, named for Makoto the giant, who lived in a distant land. Countless unique teeth have been carved into its blade. These teeth ravage the flesh, never to heal again. Cursed weapons like Makoto are de said to devour the wielder's essence and rob them of their warmth. Innumerable warriors continue to be taken by the Makoto's allure, nonetheless. So, it actually kills you while you wield it. Um, the only reason you're not seeing me die is because I have this shield on that's giving me HP regen. And I think it's still degrading faster than I regen it. Yeah, it is. So, it is a dangerous, life-sapping katana. Pretty cool, though. Um, it actually, ironically, would work well with my like full regen build, I think. Because uh, I think with the ring and the shield, you regen more than it takes away. So you're just kind of breaking even at that point. Um, yeah, you can see it there. I don't lose any HP for wielding the Makoto. But now I have it. What should I do with it? Should I keep it or take it to that guy? We can choose by just doing this. I don't want to walk around too much. But yeah, I always thought the Makoto sword was interesting. Because of the fact of how it screws with your HP. Um, it is actually a, a fairly strong weapon. Um, if we look at stats here, it doesn't scale with anything though, actually, I'm noticing. But it's not our main weapon, so. We can talk to that guy, I'm sure know that now that we have it though. He said it was a memorial from his dad, but uh, he says the weapon chooses, um, and clearly the weapon chose me, so I think it's my weapon now. Bam. There, I had to deal with the skeleton. Sorry about that. What's up, man? You have found the Makoto, have you? I have! Bless your good fortune. 
And, uh, well, good work. Now, just hand Makoto over to me. He sounds so needy for it. I don't know, is anyone watching right now? I let you decide. Should I give him the magic sword Makoto or... Not. Hmm. Ten seconds, and then I'm just gonna decide, I think. Oh, man. I don't really care either way, because I'm probably not gonna use it, but at the same time... He's a, he's a jerk. He's greedy for the sword. You know... I generally always take it. <laughs> Part of me wants to give it to him. Yeah, you can have the sword, man. Yes. This is she. This luster. It's finally mine. <laughs> oh, he's going kind of crazy. Could this sword really be as deadly as this? Yeah, just wielding it kills you, man. There is only one way to find out. Yep, he immediately fights you with it. The bastard. Oh! Get knocked away, man. So, I could just sit here and watch you die to the sword. Because <laughs> of the regen. So this is what happens when you give him the sword. He becomes an idiot. I keep doing the kick move and I really don't want to. Oh, you healy little bastard. I really don't want to go that way because there's a skeleton. I love how he's slowly just dying. <laughs> and well I guess I'll take the sword back now well <laughs> there's that storyline guys uh, to be honest he attacks you if you don't give it to him with a normal sword so that there's the difference for you <laughs> My soul form? Yeah, I am soul form. Okay, good. All right. That storyline is concluded, I guess. Poor bastard. You didn't have to die, man. You didn't have to die. I don't have enough to level. Maybe buy a few more health items or arrows. Yeah, I might buy arrows at the Ritual Path Merchant because he sells the light one. Gonna grab some arrows and then we're gonna either do the next part after the old hero, I'm thinking, or I will do the Dragon God, which is just a horrible pain in my ass, but it needs to be done. Can I buy bombs from you, actually, dude? No? Damn it. How many can I buy from you? 100 some? Uh. Get 90. And then. Hopefully, Patches sells some bombs, I'm thinking. That's my uh, hope here. 
in the nexus, and then we can continue on. I just need to get some item. Well, and I'm wondering if bombs could be useful to blow up the pillars that are blocking my way, since I don't have other ranged options other than arrows. So, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a good price. Nonsense. Nope, you don't have bombs. Damn it. There you are. No, I'm not proud of you. All right, so let's try the dragon god. Let's try that craziness again. So we'll have to do the first spear again, unfortunately. It doesn't like persist between runs, so we'll have to do that again. Um, I think the thing that really freaks me out about it in general is just that Meat Cleaver's so slow on killing the pillars, like the attack. I'm wondering if I can actually use the Makoto for this. That might be a... That might be a thought. Let's try it out, I guess. Um... I mean, does the Thief's Ring really help me in this? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. I can punch the front wall. He's looking this way. We don't want to attack right now. Oh. That's crazy. He it one shot that pillar. Was that a fluke or was that like a normal thing? You don't have to be so violent, man. God damn, look that way. I don't know. Look the other way. Okay. Why do you hate me? I'm just trying to release you from your prison. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. We'll just press that little. Oh, ha. I was like, we'll press this button. Nope. Heal instead. Boom. That was my turret, man. Why did you do that? I wonder if the spell called Cloak does anything either in this part. Where you, it like conceals you more, so like I wonder if that helps too. And again, I'm doubting the bow does anything. Yep. Bow does nothing. I bet a bomb would like attract his attention, right? I only have one, so I'm going to just test it, but... Didn't even notice it. I'm grateful this destroys the pillars in a single hit, though. That's craziness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go, you go look over there. Oh, you are so terrifying. Please stop. Okay, I know you're gonna look over here now. And yeah, it's coming. Here it is. Yep, there it is. Nice little yawn thing with your tongue, and you're like, oh, what's over here? Oh, yeah. 
And then you go back to looking over there. Shouting. Looking right at this area, all right. Am I safe here? I'm praying to God I'm safe here. I'm waiting till he turns all the way. Oh, fuck me, I'm dead. Oh no, he lost me. I just need to kill these pillars and go up those stairs, guys. That's all I need to do. And then I should have this in the goddamn bag. I missed, I hid. I hate you. I'm sorry guys, this takes time, but one mess up and I just die, right? So it'll take more time if I don't do this right. All right, I didn't want to run after doing an attack. So there, and then... <gasps> no! Yeah. <laughs> I thought I was dead, guys. I thought I was so dead. I didn't realize there was another pillar. Oh, screw you, man. So the thing you're supposed to hit is a little horn there. Um, like go down there and hit him, but that can also kill you. Oh, I'm bad. All right, never mind. Whatever. I need this on now because I don't care about stealth. Just to regen. And then we can actually just do this. Because I don't want to risk death to his fire breath. If I actually had aim. I need to get closer. But yeah, that's what we can do. That way we don't risk death. Master's ring? What is that? I can't remember what the master's ring is. Damage from optimal hits, otherwise less damage. Shaped with straw rope, this ring increases damage inflicted by optimal hits, decreasing damage inflicted by all their attacks. Interesting. Okay. I'll read the rest of it in a second. I just want to finish the boss fight. Ooh, right on target. Yeah, you're just gonna take it, buddy. Did I not have... Oh, I don't... I thought I had a white arrow still. Maybe use on him, but this is the real cheap way to do it for a cheap boss. I'm not going near a dragon's mouth. You people crazy? Oh, they make me go up and hit it. I think. Oh no, there it is. Dragon God dead. We did it, guys. He is a dead, dead dragon. The arrow is the best option. I will agree with you on that. So if you want to know how to cheese the Dragon God, there you go, guys. 
the simplest method to cheese him. And also we got the Dragon Bone Smasher because of our white tendency, so we got everything possible from this freaky bot. Um, Legendary Warrior Soul, nice. And now we get this. You've attained the soul of an archdemon. The thick, colorless fog shall oppress you no more. So if you guys remember, in the main Boletaria zone, the first one, we finished the Tower Knight, and then there was a deep fog that we could not pass until we got an Archdemon Soul, which the dragon happens to count as one. Uh, yeah. His zone is pretty cool looking, like his fight room and everything, but I, his fight... He's just such a large creature, I'm not sure what they could do to make that fight better, but I've never been very happy with it, the way they... You just shoot the two harpoons, avoid uh, basically getting one shot, running between them. And then you can either just range attack, just cheese it, or um, you go up to it and you hit it in the face a few times, and then it'll breathe fire, you get out of the way, etc. But, um, yeah. Dragon God down. So, let's see. Today we got the Flame Lurker, Dragon God the educator and the old hero all down. So four bosses down today. That is pretty damn good. You got anything new to say? Perhaps our age will see no. How much souls do we have? 20,000? Okay. I can level up a bit more. Seek soul power. Give me... I'm pumping the decks now because I want that bow. Yep, yep, yep. Um, I guess we'll do Altar of Storms next. That seems like the next conclusive thing. So we've been hopping around Stonefang and the Shrine of Storms today. Oh, I'm still human, though. Ooh. Dangerous. Because I want that white, white tendency to stay. Um... I don't know if there's much purpose of me wearing the Thief's Ring in this next part, but I'm going to. Um, and I also actually do want to do a couple of other inventory management things now that I'm thinking about it because of the fight. I'm keeping a close watch. Plus, I should just store stuff. Like, I don't need this, I don't need that. I'm going to keep the Makoto on me. I like it. <laughs> um, especially considering I've been kind of going for that uh, region build in the first place. I'm gonna throw all that in there to lighten my load a little. Um, yeah, I think that's it. All right. And then as far as this sword is concerned, we're gonna put that in my pouch and wield the meek. Hey, my 200 souls are still here. Ha <laughs> ha! Funny. Fall off this cliff real fast. I will go back up and get my souls this time because there's like 2,000. Seems like a. It'd be a bit much to have just suddenly disappear. Sorry, I was just reading a quick little email I got there. My bad. Okay. All right. Time for dying, they say. They are not wrong. I wonder uh, how many times I've died in this run. Quite a few already, that's for sure. Not counting my intentional suicides. I don't think those count in the Nexus. Like, I mean, why should they? <laughs> I'm just killing myself for mechanical reasons. Um... Yeah, so this archstone is all done now, guys. We are done with the Digger King. He is all donezo. Um, we're going to come here and do Altar of Storms. And then after we do Altar of Storms, we will be done with the Shrine of Storms archstone as well. We have been making some crazy progress today. And uh, I'm really uh, happy about it. So the one thing I love about this zone and the other zone is the last boss is uh, pretty much right here. Ooh. A 
Look at that thing. It's a giant manta ray, the arch nemesis of this zone for me. Ugh, it has all its little, little babies. And I think you only saw like six there, but there's way more than that. Yeah. There's more than in the cutscene. Usually you see less than in the cutscene, but this time there's more than in the cutscene. Yeah. Dodge. Ooh, he a biggin'. You're a real big one, guys. So melee people tend to stress out in this part, which I don't blame them for the most part here, because uh, yeah, it's crazy. Um, don't stress. The cr the crystal lizards, they'll be back. I mean, killing them now is almost suicidal. What I need is this pupper right here. The storm ruler, everyone. The most epic sword you're ever going to witness in a Souls game. Alright, there's the big boss, man. Ugh. He's far away right now. Oh, and then like that, I'm dead. Ah. Oh. Like three of those things at once shot me. But we have the sword now. That's the real kicker. Um, even if you're gonna die once, <laughs> make sure to get the sword, guys. Um, the Storm Ruler in every other area and zone is just a normal weapon. I mean, it has like a de decent attack for a normal weapon, but like you can't upgrade it, I don't think, or anything like that. Its main purpose is out here, where it gets a special buff. Uh, we'll read about the Storm Ruler after uh, after the fight, about that after after we win it. So yeah, the real hard part is not dying to the goddamn manor, the little ones. The little ones are actually more dangerous than the big one. Okay, I need this, please. Thank you. Damn it. No. All right, I want cover is the ideal here. I feel like I could break that with that attack, but you know. All right. We have some cover here, though, which is good. Oh, come on. How am I not hitting you at all? Oh, he's coming in. The big boy is coming in. Oh, that didn't hit him. How'd that not hit him? I think I can't be in here. This is too safe. <laughs> it's too safe for me to actually be effective. Wow, he is huge. Way bigger than you think. Uh-oh. Ooh. 
Boom. Die. Damn it. Alright, too far. Alright, he's coming back around the other way. I want to hide on this side of the wall this time for his first onslaught. Yeah, here it comes. Woo! Oh, shit. The damage that dealt was insane. Ah, oh, too far away. I like this uh, rebound better. Get out of my way. Okay. All right, we're, we've dealt with the majority of the little ones. Here they come. Die. Damn it, all right. He's gonna do another pass. boss is done I love that I love that attack when you're out here the heavy and light attack are the same damn things though okay I don't need that anymore I don't need thief ring for on regen my word Let's, uh, try to kill these lizards. Ah, no. There we go. I'm gonna get one of them. There we go. Almost didn't get it. There we go. Moon shade stone chunks. Nice. See if there's any other items around here, and then we can go back to the Nexus. We have completed the Shrine of Storms now, too, guys. So two Archstones are completely done. We've gotten through the Storm Isles and um, through the Stonefang Tunnel. Another item... I think that's everything. All right, let's turn back to the Nexus. I would say we are now, considering we got three. So let's see, we have, not counting like mini bosses like the dragons we saw here. We have two main bosses here. Three here, because we haven't done anything in this archstone yet. Um, and we have two more bosses here. So two, five. We're at seven bosses left in the game. Um, we've done four, eight... Nine, 
And 11 bosses. We've we've done 11 bosses. Yep. Ooh. Seven more to go, guys. I think 18 in total in the game, yeah. So, I think I'm going to call it there for the stream, though. We're here in, like, three and a half hours. Uh, I appreciate everyone who joined me or is watching this in the episodes on uh, YouTube. Either way, I appreciate you joining me here at my gaming parlor, and I hope you join me for my future streams. Um, as far as the future streams are concerned, I think we will be um, doing either probably Returnal, or I'm thinking of starting another game. I've been kind of debating it, um, but there might be some Resident Evil 8 stuff going on sometime soon. It might be stream, or it might be an exclusive like episode series on YouTube. I'm still debating on how I want to do that because that would let me just play the game more naturally, just recording it. Um, so we'll just see how that goes. I'm debating on how I want to do it. But yeah, thanks again, everyone. I uh, have great appreciation for anyone who's joining me and watching these. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you're not already on YouTube. Um, have a good one, everyone.